Carrie. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I just had a, a couple of packages come in today, so I thought I would do a quick haul for you. Um, the first thing, well, I'm just gonna jump right into it because I have this, I just treated my nail here. I just put on a layer of base coat on my nail. The One of the things I've got, I've just got a few things from AliExpress, but uh, one of the things I, I picked up was this Born Pretty. Oh, don't pay attention to my nails because I've been experimenting with this stuff. So um, it's the Solid Nail Tips Gel. So when I first opened it up, it was hard and it had a, uh, it was kind of, it, when you went into it, it kind of broke apart. So it was, it was not like this. This is now kind of pliable and gooey, but when before it was like flaky, it was like uh, a little bit flaky. So what I did was I had seen on the website on AliExpress, um, they said it uh, if, it, if it was flaky like that, just give it like heat it up a little bit. So what I did, I had from a previous haul, I have one of these things. Now one of these, this is a, this is kind of like a heat pad and it's just USB powered. And I maybe it's for like keeping your coffee warm type of thing. But what I bought this for a while back was to um, loosen up and warm up any kind of gel that I might have that might be a little bit thick or whatnot. So what I had done was I had placed the tub on this thing while it was, these things actually get pretty hot. So you kind of have to be careful. It takes about five minutes to, to heat up, but once it gets going, it, um, it, it gets going pretty good. And then I had uh, let the, let this sit there and the heat kind of um, penetrated it. And now it's, it was last night that I actually did this with the pad, but the consistency still remains the same. It's still, pliable, it's clear before it didn't look clear. It kind of looked cloudy. And now I can kind of work with it a little bit better. So the idea, I have a tip here. I just wanted to show you guys really quick how this is supposed to work. I have this tip here. I have etched it already. I put a little uh, bit of non-acid primer um, in the tip as well. I have already applied a base coat to my finger. And so now I'm just going to take a bit of this solid tip glue. I'm just gonna take a little dollop out here. I have a small nail, so it doesn't need much. I hope I don't get too much. Well, okay, so let's just grab something like that. And I've seen people use, touch them, use, you know, their, with their hands, roll it up into a ball. But to try to avoid that, I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna stick it into the edge of the, and maybe kind of push it around a little bit. So it didn't take much but now it's much easier to work with after I heated it up. It looks like you only have to heat it up once to try to get this um, viscosity or this density now, like where it's not breaking apart and flaking apart. Um, and then then the idea is just to, I, can't, I don't know if I'm in frame here, but let's see if I can just put it up I'm moving it up now. I see, oh, oh, it's, I'm not very good at this, so let's see. I'm moving it up to the very edge. I'm pushing it down. And I wanna make sure I don't get any air bubbles in there. And I'm pushing it down. And it looks like there is a lot of gel here that has come out from the free edge. But all the way around it looks pretty clear. Now, I don't even need to keep pressure on it. It kind of just stays in place. So with this extra little bit of gel that has come out the back, I will try to clean that up and pull that off. I'll just leave it here. And 
So that looks a little bit better. I don't see really anything oozing out the back. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little bit on the edge right here. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, and this is this looks good. I developed a little air hole in here, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more pressure. Oops, oops, lost the tool. Okay, so I got rid of that air hole. Looks pretty good. I think I've got full contact on the whole nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure it right now. So here, I'm just gonna stick it in the lamp for a second. This is, I've been experimenting with it. And this is the, uh, this tip I etched and did put a pri um, a base coat on. The first time I used it, I just decided to try it without any kind of treatment to, to the nail, to the actual tip. I didn't treat the nail with any kind of primer. I didn't actually even put a base coat on and I tried it on this nail. And it stayed on for a couple of days, but it, peeled off. So this is, this is about 30 seconds or so, but um, I, I believe you should probably cure it for like a, a good minute. But just this 30 seconds, I would cure it longer if, it, if I were really wearing this, but for the sake of the video. So I've just cured that and it's, it's on there. So I'm gonna give this a test. I'm gonna test it out again. I'm gonna cure it up. I'll give it a full cure later on after the video. And then I'm just gonna keep you posted on um, how long this tip lasts. Now, one more thing about this I wanted you to see. One more thing I wanted you to see. I wanted you to see. I'm just going to take a little dollop here. I'm going to put it, I will put it. I'll actually use a, just put it on this wipe just to see. How it cures. So I'm just gonna lay it on here like that and I'm gonna put this in the lamp and I just want to show you what this is like by itself. So let's give it a cure and we'll come back to that. But as far as I can tell, um, this is, it's staying on. And what I like about it is the cleanup It's so easy because it doesn't, it's just, it's gummy. Like putty, you can just scrape it right off. So, I don't know, I will give you an update on this. And it was, it's been 30 seconds, so let's just get this out. So now it's been sitting in there, 30 seconds. So I wanted you to see how, it's not pliable like pliable before, but it is flexible so I can, bend it and what it feels like to me is like a little piece of rubber it bends and it will if you pull it stretches um, and it reminds me of like rubber cement glue so anyway this is the consistency of it I just to make sure I'll put it in there for a full a full minute and um, yeah I'll give you an update on this so I just wanted to go quickly over this now I bought um, I've got another one coming and I am planning on doing a giveaway so I've got another one coming um, and I will put that in the giveaway as well so I just wanted to go over that really quickly and this thing, this thing is pretty handy. Um, this, I, uh, I got it a while ago, but it was, I think it was about three or $4. Um, I can find the link to this if anybody is interested. 
if you know you're in a colder climate and you want to just heat up your gels uh, to make them easier to work with um, just place it on here for a little bit and um, it it seems to work it gets it gets pretty hot it also probably will keep your coffee warm so if anybody needs a link to this I will find it because it was it's been at least a year and a half since I, I first purchased this so there's that and one other thing I bought from AliExpress. And now I thought these things were, or two other things. Let's see. I bought these backgrounds. And these backgrounds are, they're very thin. I don't know if you can see how thin they are, but it's almost like they're really flimsy. I got two ones they were like 250 so here's here's one of them I think this is 60 by 40 centimeters as a background and then and then here's this one now this one has little flowers around it like this but I'm not a huge fan of the flowers I was just gonna cut it into shape it doesn't need to be that big because as you can see it just just the center just fits in frame. So I don't really need the flowers. I thought I would cut them all off. Like I said though, I was not expecting it to be this thin. Um, but for a background, you know, it works. I think it's gonna work fine. I just have to figure out how to get these creases out. Maybe lay it down flat for a while. If the creases stay, this one, if I lay it down really flat, or if I put it up, I can't even really see the creases at all. So all in all, not a bad purchase. Um, I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit thicker. It's not, it, I'm sure it won't hold up to any kind of acetone or anything like that. But I thought um, I would just get this for a, as a kind of like a like quick generic background for any videos so that's why I got those and we'll see how those work out seems to look good from a distance you know how that is it's like a good from far but far from good sometimes okay and then um, I picked these up from Aliexpress as well and these are just little flakes uh, I have stuff like this already. What I like about it, I, and it's got, it's, it's got a protective covering here, so. What I like about these things, though, is that these ones are really little, and they um, are already, I just like the idea of I can just use it very quickly for any, I don't know, I really don't know, actually. I just liked it. <laughs> So hopefully I'll get some use out of these. Um, and these are the colors. I believe this was about like $2.60. Um, yeah, and that's it. It looks like these colors are pretty similar. And this is just a standard gold. And then this would be like a holographic gold. So anyway, that's, that's that. I picked that up. And so those are the only things from I have I have from AliExpress. So this is a bit that I picked up from uh, Amazon, and it's just your it's a Panna five in one. And I think I have the box right here. So this is it here. This is the ceramic bit, uh, tapered barrel. It's. And it's in coarse and it's got a C right up there to show you that it's coarse. And I have tried it. It's a lot, it's kind of smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I really am enjoying this bit. I've already tested it on myself and I really liked it. These are $6.99. These were recommended to me by um, Lisa from Dana August Nails. These are her fave and I thought I'd give it a try and I actually, um, really like it. So at $6.99 for a bit, I think that's that's not bad. Normally I get 
bits uh, in a two pack from Wilson for like $9. Um, but this isn't that far off and in a pinch if you need something. Um, I think that's a great price, $6.99. So I picked that up. And from Amazon, I got one more thing and I have, this is the second time I've bought these sterilization pouches. The other ones, they were really long and big, big. So these ones are from Carlash, which is a brand I see on Amazon all the time. I thought these ones, now these look a little bit more um, compact so that the other ones seemed like to be really long. And I thought, well, look, these are gonna fit all of these little tools in there. there. It'll fit one of these. And then I'll be able to get, I'll be able to get a nipper in there and um, whatever kind of tools that I want. But if, as soon as I finish um, cleaning them, sterilizing or whatever, I just, I wanna be able to have them in something so that they, they're not exposed in anywhere, so. I decided to get these ones because because of the compact size. I am really, really. I stretched for room here, and I almost have like zero room anymore. So yeah, I think I like these better. And these were like ten ninety five for two hundred. So I got these. So I'm just gonna make a few of these sterilization pouch pouches just to have around, just to make sure I have around. So I got those. And that's from Amazon as well. And this, the rest of the stuff is from Shein. So I just got the Shein order today and I've seen this haul before. I know Blue Rose Nails, she has hauled a couple of these and I think she's using them for to line up her um, sticker books and maybe her stamping playbooks, I'm not sure. But I thought I would use this to so here's a plate. I thought, I have a lot of stamping plates and um, we're coming up on Valentine's Day, uh, for instance. So I thought I could, you know, as different holidays come up, I can pull all of the, the plates that um, correspond to those holidays and kind of keep them out. And then when I, um, when the holiday passes, I can just take them and I can put them back in. But for right now, yeah, I bought this to try to, to organize some plates. Here's another new plate. And just go like this and just kind of weave through. Um, it's an idea that I have for the, if it doesn't work out for the stamping plates, I can um, also use them to hold up the um, different sticker books that I have and they hold up, they sit straight. This is $6. They have this listing on Shein for a different price, uh, more than $6, I can't remember the price, but if you just keep looking around, you can a lot of times find the exact same item for a cheaper price. So I just uh, keep looking and I then decide, then I keep the cheapest one and I get rid of the other one out of the cart and it seems to work out. The thing about Shein though now is that they're not doing that free shipping. I have been checking back every week and they are, don't seem to be, at least when I check, they don't seem to be offering the free shipping on Sundays as they used to. So in order to get uh, the free shipping, it's usually $49 minimum order and so I'm, I'm having to wait. And the problem with waiting until I hit the minimum for the free shipping uh, I'll have a lot of stuff in my cart, and by the time it's I'm ready to order it, like I've accumulated enough uh, stuff to meet that minimum, um, it never fails. One or two items are always out of stock. So that's the only downfall for that. So I got a few stamping plates. Now one of them came with, these two came with as a set. Some words here, happy peace, love, some lips. I thought I would just kind of hugs, kind of um, get ready for Valentine's. And then here's some more Valentine-y kind of things. And I do like these hearts here. Um, 
I have a hard time drawing hearts consistently, so I thought this would be really, really good. Just just these hearts in itself without the different sizes to accommodate different size nails. So I really did like just the hearts there. So I have that. And then I'll just, I would just stamp on a heart and then if I didn't like the color polish, stamping polish that I used to stamp, I would just do white and then I'll just, I can just um, fill it in with gel paint or gel polish or whatever to correspond and match with the set. So I thought this is a good idea. And it came with a scraper, pretty thick, and another stamper. Let's see what this. Yeah, I like it. It's sticky. I have a lot of these. It's very these specific ones. I have a lot, but I tend to get a lot of tears in them, so I'm happy to have a new one. So that came together as a set. I don't recall the price of this. And then the, the next one is, I believe, let's see, Christmas. And it's past now, but I thought this is a cute little plate, just stamping the, I like the snowflake one. Um, these leaves, a full snow. I just, I don't know, I just liked these and I thought I would pick it up. And so now I have it for next year. I don't think this was more than a dollar or a dollar fifty. So I guess I'll just hold on to this until I see. But these are the one, like, I like these ones here. This is kind of cute. Um, oh, and oh, I, there, there is a New Year's thing here as well. So I picked that up too. That's from Shannon. Next I got, because I'm trying to get ready for Valentine, are some stickers. I've seen these before. They're just so cute. It looks like it's too bad. Okay, so this is, maybe I have this already before I have these and I think they're so cute. Hopefully I'll get a lot of use out of them next month. Um, but I really liked these. I thought these were just so cute. Um, these are, and these kinds of things, they're so detailed, I would never be able to draw them. So I thought I would pick these up. So I, and I have, I have another one of these, so this could very easily end up in a giveaway. Okay. Next I have, and this is going in no particular order, so it won't even make sense. These little hoodie things. So I treat my feet. Once in a while I have this cute uh, palace remover. Now, it's kind of like a gel, and then I put, um, I'll soak my feet, Usually I'll do it when I'm taking up, to, I'll take a bath. I keep my feet nice and soaked. And as soon as um, I feel like it's been, you know, five, 10 minutes or so, I will dry off my foot. And there's a lot here. Um, they're in the shape of, uh, if you can see a foot. And what, what I've been using is uh, like trash bags. So I will put the gel all over my foot and then I let it kind of penetrate like five minutes with, this, with the gel on it and it really gets rid of all that dead skin. And then you would just use a, a file, a foot file, to just get rid of that dead skin. So I thought, well, these are perfect because they're in the shape of a foot. There's a lot of them. So I picked these up, because I don't know about you, but my feet are, they it's, yeah, it's bad. I'm not a big foot fan. Uh, your feet, my feet, everybody's feet. Not a huge fan. So I like to try to keep clean them up as best as possible. This is not, obviously, this is not a nail thing, but I did pick this up. It's it's a quick charging um, four port USB hub, and it got pretty good reviews. So um, I 
thought I would just pick this up. I'm always looking, I'm always on the look for, instead of having to buy a whole bunch of these, it's kind of nice to be able to have those uh, four ports, ports available. But the more ports you have available, the, how I think, the slower the charge is. So I'll, I have to give this a, a shot and see. It does say quick charge, but I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna have to update you on how quickly I think it charges. So these are, of course, my favorite, these brushes. And I hauled, last time I hauled them, and it came with one, it came with one brush and then one small brush. But I was able to find this listing and it was two brushes for a dollar. So since these are my favorite, I got the two pack and these are only a dollar. And I'm telling you, I really like, I just really like these. That's what I like to do with them. I, I just really like these for 50 cents. I just couldn't pass them up. So I got a couple of more of these. If they're nice, I can have. Let's see. This is, I think the, I don't even know the fourth time I've hauled these, but this is the curette. So. This is the curette. It's the same on both sides. Um, and it just, I really get in there. I just, I don't know. I really like this. And it's nice and weighty. So I got another one. I think I may have gotten a, a couple of these. But I'm really enjoying these. I really like them. And next I have some, some gold and I have really bad eyesight, so when I see something online, I try to zoom in as best as possible, but... Okay, so these are just the little arrows, these little... Let's see here. So they're all... These are really tiny ones. They all look like... Actually, they're they're actually a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but it's nice to put those um, at the maybe the base of the nail on the cuticle, uh, just to make cute little designs. And they have silver as well. They have two different kinds of silver ones, and oh, and these ones are really tiny. Those are really little. But I thought they were kind of cute. So maybe like when you're doing a, a cluster or a, at the very end of your last crystal placement, you could put one of these. I'm not sure, but I, I don't know. I like these shapes, so I picked this up. Kind of, it seems like you get a lot in here, and these I was surprised. This is a dollar fifty. So let's take a look at the. They're really pretty. They're blue with kind of. I see blue. I see blue. I will see blue and a little bit of maybe a, a silver or gold. I don't know. I really liked them. I thought they were cute. And then the gold side. Let's get the largest one. I think they have quite a bit of sparkle on them. These are really cute. And 
then in the similar vein, I picked up these and they look, I hate to say, but they look ex like exactly alike. So yeah, I got this. Actually, this one I see a little bit more purple in here and I'm only seeing kind of like a bluish, goldish in here. No, I think. Guys, I think these might be the same. So, but I thought these are really, really pretty. So, I'll pick these up. I'm sure one of these will also end up in a giveaway. Okay. Okay, next I got these charms. And these are just cute little perfume bottles. Oh, they're so cute. They do have a curve in them. They sh they really do sparkle. short nail. Kind of takes up the entire short nail, but I thought these were really cute. And I've been trying to kind of uh, get more silver uh, charms. It seems like all my charms are gold. I bought this little um, pencil sharpener. This is just for my daughter. So I do it on that. And then this same tool that I was using to um, pick up the solid uh, tip glue. Another one of these beautiful pressures, but they have that very sharp edge to them. And these are only a dollar. They, now they're really skinny and they're kind of little and they're really, oops, they're really little skinny, but they have this really sharp edge here. And I think it's when you're trying to get some of that stuff right there off of the sidewalls, I just really like it. I've been enjoying using these, so I got a couple more of these. As this video ended up being so long that I had to cut it into two parts, so I apologize for the abrupt ending. 